Hey, good morning. Uh, we're getting ready to head out. We got on a plane this morning, and uh, we're going out to uh, to minister to some of the refugees. So, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but uh, looks like it's going to be an awesome day. Peace. If you awaken from this illusion and you understand that black implies white, self implies other, life implies death, or shall I say, death implies life, you can feel yourself not as a stranger in the world, not as something here on probation, not as something that has arrived here by fluke, but you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental. I'm not trying to sell you on this idea in the sense of converting you to it. I want you to play with it. I want you to think of its possibilities. I'm not trying to prove it. I'm just putting it forward as a possibility of life to think about. One of the issues that we have um, when we go out in the field like this is the weight that the planes can carry. You have to be very, very careful not to get the aircraft overloaded because that's a dangerous situation for everybody. So we're having to scale back on some of the items so that we uh, will be safe getting from point A to point B. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, some I'd like to take this time to do a huge shout out and expression of gratitude to the river. Of course, we're on the ground and the airport is very loud but we wanted to take this time to just say thank you so much for making this mission a reality. You guys really rock. Thank you, God bless you. Well, something is gonna to happen to me that I don't know what it's gonna be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have, of playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the Godhead, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. So in this idea then, everybody is fundamentally the ultimate reality, not God in a politically kingly sense. But so we're here today delivering something called Plumpy Nut, which is a, a nutritional packet that they use for people that are in crisis due to famine. And one of these packs can bring their bodies back to life. And um, so it's just an awesome little thing and technology is awesome. And this is Plumpy Nut. God in the sense of being the self, the deep down basic whatever there is. And you're all that. Only you're pretending you're not. Me in the 
dog and what's happening with the famine, we should make a presence. We should show that, that we care and that it matters to us what matters to you. So we spent a lot of money and a lot of time to come from very far to just share our love and to say you matter. And whatever. I be saying all the time you pastors, y'all have these people in the church always want to preach, always want to be adventure. Come on, I got some place for you to preach. If you really want to preach, and it's really because you want to reach people. Primary health care. Outside, we have OTP and STP programs. And also, inside, we have a malnutrition ward. We are going to pass as we go. Information that you've given them, that they'll go back and be able to help their people in a greater way. And we thank you, Father, that they'll be a blessing to generations to come. We say favor is be upon their lives. We thank you, Father, that honor is upon them. And we thank you, thank you, Father, that doors are open for them in the name of Jesus. How old is the baby? It's an eight-month-old baby. Wow. Pastor Dre come. We pray to bless and heal a mom. She may be crying now. I do own it, But tell me, in a few short days, she's gonna hear a good report that the baby is getting better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even to the Kenyans, yeah, yeah, yeah. who are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 